guys, it's Gracie. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I chose the college I'm going to in the fall and how I chose the colleges I applied to in the first place. Before I actually started the application process in August of my senior year, I was obviously thinking about the colleges I was going to beforehand when I was taking the SAT, choosing which colleges to send my SAT scores to. The irony is the majority of the schools I did send my SAT scores to, I didn't end up actually applying to. And that is because I kind of had different standards set of what I wanted in college by the time I decided to actually apply. So just to give you an idea of what I was doing, I sent my SAT scores to schools like Harvard, John Hopkins, and um, the University of Chicago, I think those were like the three higher up schools I sent them to and then I sent them to the University of Cincinnati and Indiana University Bloomington and IUPUI. Those were the schools I originally sent everything to. So I actually only ended up applying to three of those and those are the not like not bad quality schools, the less competitive schools, so the University of Cincinnati, Indiana University Bloomington, and then IUPUI, which is Indiana University, Purdue University at Indianapolis. So originally when I was sending my SAT scores to schools, I was just thinking about these great names that like were said to have a great education. And I was really just hoping that my test score would end up good and that I would be able to get my GPA up to be even like sort of impressive to those schools. My GPA, I don't think was really that high by the time I was taking my SAT. I think it was a 3.9, like, 8, 9, or I actually, I think that wasn't the one I applied to college with. I think it was even lower, like at 3.8, like 7, 9, something like that. So it w was really high hopes, but like I was just trying to make that my goal. So even if I didn't end up there, I would end up high amongst other schools. And really that's what ended up happening for me, and that's what I wanted because I'm not just going for my undergrad, I want to go to medical school. So the financial aspect of this is what became increasingly more important to me and is what decided what schools I actually applied to. I applied to schools that I not only knew I could get in, but schools that I was hoping that I had high chances of getting scholarships from. I did have a dream program set in mind at the University of Cincinnati. Overall, the school has a fairly high acceptance rate for the program I wanted to get into, accepted only like around 60 people per year. So I didn't know if I would get into that program, but I knew that I should be able to get into one of the other majors and should I be rejected from that specific major. So I ended up applying to only five schools. I applied to Indiana University, Bloomington, IUPUI, University of Cincinnati, like I said before. And then I also added on Ball State because a lot of people I know go there, my best friend's going there, so I wanted to just check it out. And then I also applied to Indiana State University because I knew a professor from there. He said that I should be able to get good scholarships from there. And I had the program a little described to me and it felt like a place that I could make it work for me. So I did get accepted to all of them, including the program I really wanted to get into at the University of Cincinnati, which was their medical sciences program. So now we go down to the financial aspect of it, which is what really started making me pick because um, I had to accept that I couldn't just immediately decide to go to the University of Cincinnati. I really needed to consider the financial aspect of it. In the University of Cincinnati, I did wait a while for their scholarship information because they have their deadlines set a little later than the Indiana schools. So I had to wait a little bit for that. I should preface the fact that the University of Cincinnati offers in-state tuition to anyone in, in, not anyone in Indiana, but like to my county they do. So that's why that made that an option for me, even though it was out of state. When I got accepted to Indiana State University, they offered me $4,000 per year, which was a lot less than I was expecting and was a lot less than the other schools were offering me. So I immediately kind of pushed that to the side. So I only had four schools left. Ball State University accepted me and offered me, I think, $6,000 per year, so 24000 overall. This was lower than um, what some of the other schools ended up being, so I kind of put this away. There was a part of time where I was offered to apply to this full ride, and I started to think about it more, but then I didn't get the full ride. So after I was informed that I wanted to be getting the full ride, 
that was cut out. So then I had three schools that like I had originally been considering when I sent my SAT scores. So IUPUI, IU Bloomington, University of Cincinnati, the names are said over and over again. Next we're going to talk about IUB and IUPUI because those are the schools that I did get initial scholarship offers for and then later got more. So that affected the like process. IUPUI initially offered me $6,000 per year, which is the same $24,000 that Ball State offered me. But I had to also consider the fact that if I went to IUPUI, I wouldn't necessarily have to be paying for the dorm costs and everything because my dad lives in Indianapolis where the school is. I'd be able to live at home. The cost on that side would be very diminished. So compared to Ball State, like that scholarship was worth a lot more. IUB, they offered me $8,000 per year, but I also had to consider the fact that I would be living on campus, which I did really want the campus experience, but I just wanted to make sure I could get out of my undergrad with very, very little debt so I could go to medical school really wherever I wanted at that point. It also should be said that when I was Choosing the schools I was really applying to, um, IU was really good because IU has the medical school in Indiana, that's the only medical school in Indiana, and then the University of Cincinnati has a really good medical school in Ohio, and they're very, they're both very, like, pediatric centric since they have big, like, pediatric hospitals near them, and I'm interested in pediatric medicine, so those were really big for me. So then, in addition to those scholarships, IUPUI ended up getting an additional $10,000. It's like their Dean of Science, like, scholarship. I'm sorry, I'm really getting that wrong, but it's for being a part of their science school. And um, then at IU Bloomington, I ended up getting an additional scholarship of $6,000 per year. So it raised my total IUPUI scholarships to $34,000 overall and my total IUB scholarships up to $56,000 overall. So that's a lot of money, and I was really, really happy about that, um, and really, really happy about that, but I still hadn't gotten a really clear description of what I was getting from the University of Cincinnati, so I didn't immediately like accept where I was going. I was still waiting for the University of Cincinnati stuff to come in, and it started to get really confusing to me what was going on there. Because even if I wasn't going to receive something to the full height of these two schools, I was expecting something since I had received something from everywhere else. And I was a part of this good program, so I knew that they thought highly of me. But that's where my misunderstanding happened. And here comes the most like heartbreaking phone call of my entire life. I'm just going to be completely honest with you about how this happened because it's a really sad, pathetic story, but it's kind of funny. So I will literally go into the like, all oh, like, do I really need to know that details of the situation? I was going to the bathroom when I got this phone call from Cincinnati and I was like, okay, I can't not answer it. So literally answered it on the toilet. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I'm sharing this. You just need to understand the situation, answer it, and I'm like, hi! And so they were calling me to see if I would like to meet with someone in Indianapolis to talk about the school, to answer any of my questions, to help me make my decision, basically trying to get me to go there. And I was like, yeah, that's really cool. But I've had some misunderstandings with my financial aid. I don't really know where to find it. And she's like, oh, I can look that up for you. And I was like, okay. And so she looks it up and she says, we were unable to offer you any academic merit-based scholarships this year. And I was like, what? I, I don't understand. I literally was like, I don't understand. And she said, looking at your profile, you're a very good student. You have a strong, like, academic profile and everything, but you are part of a program with a lot of people that have strong academic profiles, which I mean, I knew that, but I didn't understand how their scholarships went. And she said, we do the scholarships by program. So it's the top people from every program. So because I was with so many other like high achieving students, they couldn't give me the scholarship. They had to give them the scholarship. So if I had been rejected from this program and accepted into my second choice, which was neuroscience, 
I would have had scholarships there but I didn't get scholarships in the program I wanted. And then she tried to convince me like, oh, you have these like financial aids, you have these grants and like these loans, like with the grants, you can have like, you know, like $5,000 per year. And I'm like, $5,000 in grants is not enough to get me to your school. And I was just kind of like, okay, like that's great. Try not to cry my head off on this phone call. And she's like, okay, yeah, so do you want me to schedule you an appointment with one of our people in Indianapolis to talk about the school? And I said, I think I'm good. And she said, okay, well let us know if you have any more questions. And I said, I will. And we hung up. And then I proceeded to cry my eyes out because my heart was broken. It made me return to what I said about this phone call at the start of the conversation. I was on the toilet. So now I just got the most heartbreaking phone call of my life. Okay, probably not the most heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Second most heartbreaking phone call of my life on the phone, on the toilet. I'm sobbing on the toilet. Like this was the most pathetic moment of my life probably. So at that point, it became pretty apparent to me that the University of Cincinnati was no longer in the running, which sucks because I loved that program so much. But I knew that I could be as successful as I could be in that program at one of the IU schools. I knew that, I knew that I could make my place there. So it just wasn't worth it in the financial aspect. So now I was deciding which of the IU schools to go to and I did receive more scholarships from IU Bloomington, but I had to think about the fact that at IUPY, I wouldn't be paying any of the housing costs, which that immediately takes it away. Like I basically had, I think full ride tuition there, maybe not quite full ride tuition there, but maybe after some of the grants, it would be really close to full ride tuition there, which if I was living at home, it would be really close to full ride in general. But also what we really wanted for me was for me to get like the campus experience, you know, like I wanted to move out. I didn't want to just like live with my parents. Like I love my parents, but like, you know, I need to grow up. Like I don't want to be that one kid in class that hasn't grown up yet. It's an important experience to move out at this point in your life. It seemed to me that IU Bloomington had a lot more of a campus experience. IUPY has definitely been developing that aspect for the past like few years. It's changed a lot as a school. And I believe that it will continue to change a lot as a school and develop more about campus like lifestyle, but it still wasn't like up to par to like Bloomington. So what I ended up deciding in the end is that the scholarships that I was offered to IU Bloomington were enough to make it an option for me to go there instead of IUPUI. Even though I might be paying more in the long run, the difference in price was worth the experience to me. So I'm going to IU Bloomington. I'm really excited. I move in in less than a month, like 20 something days. <laughs> I'm just, oh my gosh, I'm really, really grateful for the fact that I got that much in scholarships like I really didn't imagine this because from what I had heard before is that academic merit scholarships really aren't what they used to be that so many people are like smart now which is really 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 great like so many people are high achieving now that it makes it hard to get those scholarships out which I mean I like that. I like that we are such a high achieving group of like students and stuff. Like, yay my generation. Like, I'm so proud of us. Like, we're all doing well and going to college and having these big dreams. But at the same, you know, point, I wasn't expecting a lot because of that. So the fact that I got $56,000 in scholarships is insane. I should state that my second scholarship wasn't just based off of academic merit, there was more to it, but I feel like this has gone on way too long. I can make another video explaining my scholarships if that is wanted or I just feel like it, you know, because that's why I make all of these videos because I feel like it. But yeah, that's how I chose to go to Indiana University in Bloomington. I'm super excited. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thought it was interesting. Um, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments about how I got into these schools, 
um, and like any of my plans or whatever. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you've made it this far. Please subscribe if you want to. Yeah, leave a comment if you have a question or you relate or anything like that. Bye.